Visual Composer is an alternative page builder that some themes use to create a more unique look for, to your page design. To use this, you will need to begin the back end of your website and on the page that you want to edit. If the Visual Composer plugin is installed, you will see this blue bar right underneath the page title. Click Back End Editor to use Visual Composer. If you already have text in your page, it will automatically turn into a text block like this. If not, you will see this screen. If you know that you're going to start with text, you can click Add Text Block, or you can click Add Element, and this box will appear. You can add a text block from here, as well as several other elements like a single image, an icon, a button, a Google Map, and much more. You can play around with different elements to see what they do and what they look like. For now, we're just going to add a text block. Edit the text however you like and click Save Changes. This added a new row with the text block inside. With this row, we can create several different column structures by clicking this button. Let's select two thirds by one third. In the right column that appears, click the plus sign to add a new element. Let's add a single image. To insert your image, click the green plus sign and select or upload your image and then click set image. The default for the image size is thumbnail. I usually type full in all lowercase letters. You can also type in a specific size, medium or large as it describes here. Choose your image alignment, add a style if you like, or a link, and you can even add a CSS animation. I'm going to choose right to left. Once all of those have been inputted, click Save Changes. Now we can click Update and view our page to see what it looks like. As you can see, the CSS animation came in. You can, to edit individual boxes, you'll hover over them and select the green pencil icon. The same box that appeared earlier will pop up. Make the changes you want and click Save Changes. Make sure after every change you click update. You can easily add new rows with different column formats for a very customizable look to your website pages. It's all pretty simple, it just takes a little bit of playing around with it. You can always revert back to the classic mode by clicking classic mode underneath the title of the page.